What's up, guys? So Blade 1 was incredible. Blade 2 was even better than that. So I'm ready to watch Blade 3, baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't have much to say, man. This franchise has been so much fun. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. And don't think we didn't see that Rotten Tomato score. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Rated R for foul language. Maybe we'll hear a few MF. In the movies, Dracula wears a cape. And some old English guy always manages to save the day at the last minute with crosses and holy water. But everybody knows the movies are full of shit. The truth is, it started with Blade and it ended with him. The rest of us were just along for the ride. So he was always Deadpool. And right, that sounds just like <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Damn, they done pulled up to the architecture. Would you slide down that? <laughs> they wouldn't let me anywhere near that. <laughs> okay. Is this like Black Ops 6 pulling up? Black Ops 4, it looks like. <laughs> well, she's strong as hell. <laughs> I think they're vamps because they flicked off the sun. Oh, I thought it was flicking off the helicopter driver. <laughs> I thought he wouldn't let him have nothing to drink. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, she's definitely a vampire. You see that hair? What's this chicken scratch? It's cuneiform. It's about 4,000 years old. So why here? Because this is the cradle of civilization. He would have been comfortable here. I don't know, Dan. It seems like another dead end. There's something beneath us. You They're looking for vampire one or something. Is it a body? Guys? Oh, wow. Ooh, y'all summoned that. They summoned a final boss. A proper true number one final boss. <laughs> that was crazy. That looked like an orc. Remember I said, I'm out this thing. Like, <laughs> vampires coming out. Uh-uh, Mousy, you better go. Oh, it's Blade. There he goes. Oh, that intro is cold. <laughs> He's still doing his thing he does. He said, I'm just doing that thing I do, baby. <laughs> That's like me on Fortnite. I'm fire with those two pistols. Mm -hmm. Not that fire. <laughs> Why do you do a little piss? <laughs> so he's mad. He's like, get over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we like those. You don't know nothing about Mortal Kombat, do you? No, but I, I know on Super Smash Bros, Link had that. Super Smash Bros. Y'all hear her? Hoopa Smash Bros. Stone Bridge over there. Got it. Getting westbound. I'm just beneath you. Go. Nice. That was smart. <laughs> he showed him the things. <laughs> <laughs> this is like action in the best way, though. Yeah. I'm like, I like it. I don't normally like love action scenes. <laughs> we'll take that. Where did he come from? He was under the car? The undercarriage. <laughs> he hardly just shoot his window out. Nice. <laughs> That's crazy. So to the vampires, he's kind of like the cop. <laughs> he's like the state trooper. Oh man, he's going to eat y'all. He's got a gun! Blade's a little upgraded. He has a little chest thing now. Oh, is he not a vampire? Ouch. Is he like a familiar? 
staked you with silver. Why aren't you Ash? Why aren't you smarter? Not a vampire. Dumb shit! <laughs> Set your sorry ass up. Oh no. <laughs> Good trick though. You got me. Damn. Right. Maybe that's why we saw that little rat early on. <laughs> Jeez. First of symbolism. That girl will be hell these days. Like with a smartphone, she'd be antagonizing people and recording it. <laughs> Get that big old camcorder. <laughs> yeah. She was like. <laughs> oh, Blade. Oh, she got the footage. <laughs> the vampires done got on social media. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Cute little spot. I mean, that'll do. What the fuck happened tonight? How should I know? He was human. Getting reckless, Blade. Killing vampires is clean. The ash don't leave any evidence behind. Killing humans is messy. Better hope nobody ID'd you. This went really good. What's this? A new delivery system for your serum. It's an effervescent inhaler. Just bite down on the mouth guard. Nice. Delivery is automatic. Some friends of mine made it. It was horrible. The one car crashed, and then the guy in the coat was shooting the other guy. It looked like there was a lot of blood. Thank you. That was just a taste of the mayhem that occurred during tonight's brazen shootout that left at least four people dead. An anonymous citizen captured the whole event on video. Hey, Ray, we got a lead. Good to playing, Wilson. Time to take these cowboys down. I just saw that time. Blaze not much taller than me. That's pretty crazy. What was his height? 5'8". She thinks she's so slick, don't she? <laughs> Why, because her hair or something? <laughs> or just her vampy look? Like that, she went. You know what I mean? Like she's just snarky. I'm the vamp queen. What's he been doing? Just feeding. Been through five of them so far. Do you think we have enough security? We didn't capture him. He allowed us to take him in. You understand? I'm gonna go in. Y'all got the tech, I see. Oh, he has the strange jaw. Yeah, like on the last movie. You shouldn't have broken me. <laughs> Link the damn yeah. sink. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Y'all know why y'all you know why they call him Link the Sink? Why? Because his head's the size of a sink. Look at that thing. I this man has a huge he hits head. With the kitchen sink. No, this dude played on Prison Break. That's Link. Yeah, the guys, sink. if you watch Prison Break, you just gotta know this guy. He's he's Lincoln. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that's he's Lincoln. He gets some fights when you don't need him. <laughs> Dominic Purcell. <laughs> let's go to meet man, dude. I knew this guy from childhood, man. I feel like this is my uncle popping. You feel in. like he just always is getting in fights cause it, like when you don't need it, it's like a smooth time. And then he has to get yeah, in like fight. Michael's trying to escape prison. And he's over here fighting <laughs> the guard and shit. Yeah. All right, let's go. Sorry. That's cool. What's up, Uncle Dominic? You shouldn't have woken me. Your sacrament can set us free now. What makes you think I can? Your people need you. My Same people. Link. <laughs> You're nothing but <laughs> shadows of your former selves. Look how far you have fallen. The world's changed since your time. The humans have a new hunter. Blade. And you'd like me to kill him, wouldn't you? Yes. I got Blade. She turned on cow. I like that song. Yes, <laughs> better Subject Snake in the grass. West. Got him. Nart. Tonight, Dr. Edgar Vance, forensic psychiatrist, author of Human Health. Also with us, Martin Reed, chief of police. Okay, Chief Reed, what do you make of all of these rumors we've been hearing about vampires? If vampires existed, don't you think we would have found them by now? People want to be concerned. You should focus in on characters like this Blade criminal. Now that's the guy I want to hear about. I want to hear about this character, Blade. What about him? He's a sociopath that we've been pursuing. Blade is a troubled individual. I understand that he is under the impression that there is a vast conspiracy of vampires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they think and he's they just killing nothing? Yeah, congratulations. They're calling him a conspiracy You're theorist? Famous. That is Somebody not nice. nailed us. Faces all over the papers. Meat is eating it up. Like well, I you can. just let him to your we house. should. Something like this. 
taking out a human, you're public enemy number one. Didn't know this was a popularity contest. <laughs> damn it, Blade. Don't you see what they're doing? They're waging a goddamn PR campaign. Now it's not just vampires we gotta worry about. We're gonna have to take on the rest of the world, too. You worry too much. That's why we're still alive, goddammit. I've been doing this since before you were born, Blade. You're like a son to me. I'm sorry I got old on you. I see you alone, surrounded by enemies. And it breaks my heart. Aww. Damn, that was we a crazy line, wasn't it? Alone. That's like us in the relationship. I'm Whistler and you're Blade. I'm the worry wart. Baby on board. Oh, it's like we got the vampire hunter. <laughs> <I'm on laughs> <him>. <laughs> I'm like, worry about the house, man. We'll be hunting some vamps outside. <laughs> Oh hell no. Checky, 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 checky. There's a whole baguette. You didn't even turn around. <laughs> those scary. Ooh. That looks like one of those Olsen sisters. <laughs> What's for dinner? Would that be scary to you? Yeah, especially if you have a little infant strapped to the front of you. I think. An infant? She's carrying back the grocery. <laughs> no, I think she's got an infant on in front of like her. Tony Hawk's there. Oh, damn, he did a nose slide down there. Oh, he did have a baby. Mm. Scream if this hurts, Chica. Oh, it's a bait. It was a trap. What was that garlic water or something? Mm -hmm. Bop. Yes. You just well, who is this lady? You don't mess with people who have baguettes in their bag. Right. You're not playing. Who the hell is that? <laughs> A true martial artist, apparently. Damn, is that Buffy? <laughs> uh oh. What? Damn, she's got a laser bow. Damn, it kind of sucks it's not retractable. <laughs> they can work on that. That was some good tech, though. New main character? Maybe. There was a girl on the cover. I just didn't know her. I didn't see the cover. Did you buy it when I was in the shower? <laughs> How much was it? $3.99. <laughs> that ain't good. It's wartime. What is it? What you worried about? That's illegal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's the cop. But do you think the state knows that vampires are real or do you think they're just oblivious also? I feel like they might know. So it's a grand conspiracy? Yeah, because remember they had like treaties and stuff? I bet they know. You shot Whistler? You better move. That old man's tough as hell, ain't he? Jeez. He's relentless. Move a finger and you're dead. How's about this one? He's got something in his hand. Get out, Blade! Man. He's got to be good, right? I don't know. I don't know. It ain't looking good. Just because you're a vampire doesn't mean like... I was talking about Whistler. I know, but he's Somebody a vampire, right? Me. Oh, yeah, no. Don't show, don't show. Y'all got it all wrong. Wow, that's the first time I've seen him defeated. Mm -hmm. He's probably bummed because Whistler tried to warn him. And he was just being cool about it. Rise and shine, sleepy head. Special agents Ray Cumberland, Wilson Hale, FBI. He's familiar too. We've been tracking you a long time. Whistler, dead, just like all your victims. Say, how many people have you killed, Blade? 30, 40, 50? 1,182. But they were all familiars, people who work with them. Oh. And by Damn. them, you mean vampires, right? You can keep doing your song and dance as long as you want, Blade. It's not gonna play. We know what you are. You're a stone-cold killer. Let's leave the diagnosis to the professionals. Hello, Blade. 
My name is Dr. Vance. I've been charged with giving you a psychiatric evaluation. Gentlemen, would you mind giving us just a couple of minutes alone? Guys, let me know, who is that cop right there? Because he's really familiar. He plays in some stuff. I know this must be very frightening for you, but I want you to know that I'm here to help. I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Can you tell me what day it is? He has a weird sleep schedule, right? okay? Do you know who's in the White House right now? Who the asshole? <laughs> Let's talk about vampires. Adam. What can you tell me about that? They exist. Are you one of them? What about blood? When you drink blood, do you feel yourself becoming uh, sexually aroused? <laughs> he ain't Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. He's <laughs> Blade. You see, it seems to me that this uh, business of vampirism has strong connotations of sexual confusion. Bodily fluids being exchanged, that sort of thing. And you have to ask yourself <laughs> where that comes from. What your relationship was like with your mother. It weren't good. Were the two of you very close? Say, watch my first movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's psychotic. No shit. <laughs> for his safety and for the public's, I'm recommending that he be transferred immediately. Psychiatric. That man is my prisoner. He's wanting a connection with a laundry list of federal crimes. Hold on, gentlemen. We're in my jurisdiction now. You got a problem with that? You talk to the Sorry, local magistrate. Cold, that sir, man is my is prisoner. Don't man. with my thing. You're supposed to be working with us on this, Chief. Not this time. Yeah, they probably want a vampire because they know they're real for real. Probably so, yeah. I feel like they're up to some little something to keep you compliant. Yeah, the usual dose for this sort of thing is two or three hundred milligrams. But I think with a wrapping hybrid like yourself, kick it up to a couple thousand. Damn. You don't have a problem with needles, do you? There. That wasn't so bad, was it? Ooh, you're weak. Looks like you're shooting them full of mayonnaise. That must be a bad feeling. How do you know about that? I would have imagined a mere human like me could have overpowered you. You one of them. A familiar. Mmm. AKA a Don't nerd. Years now. It's the end game, Blade. All their plans are coming to fruition. Why don't you just sit back and enjoy the show? I think this is my favorite one so far. <laughs> this one's so good. I hate familiars. That's two. Oh, man. That's why we're still alive, goddammit. So some cops know, I'm some sorry. don't. Sorry I got old on you. They probably profit in some way from them or something like that. Well, they know that they're on the losing side of things, and they just want to be alive at the end of the day. He's probably in the FBI or something. I could be wrong, but is that dude right there from the WWE? I'm pretty sure it's not him at all. <laughs> that looks like Triple H or something. I don't think that's Triple H. You don't know Triple H. Who, Hulk Hogan? <laughs> that's Double H. <laughs> we need one more. Hi, <laughs> I'm so glad to finally meet you. I am such a fan. I like your tattoos. Do they mean anything? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you tired? <laughs> the humans around like pawns. We use them. You're not so big. You're all alone, Blade. No one's going to help you now. Whistler must be here. Yes. Evening, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just Ryan Reynolds. Never mind. <laughs> Wake up, Blade. This is your rescue. Well, he just came to rescue Blade. Oh, he's got his uh, stuff. His serum mouth guard. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. The Chuck Splash. Oh, is that fake? It's like a grill. Go. Let's go. He always finds them things, too. They're so small. <laughs> <laughs> He walked up like he was going to do something, didn't he? <laughs> he said. It's kind of cool to know Ryan Reynolds was in a project like this back then. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool to see the full circle. But isn't it crazy he'd be messing up timelines like that? Because yeah. he messed up that Deadpool one because he was like an original Deadpool. Right. That's and crazy. He was like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Whistler! This way! That's the Katniss vampire. Blade, you're dead. Get up! Back 
Uh oh. Okay, nice. That was crazy. So she's like a Hawkeye. Yeah. What do we call her? Lady Hawk. But where do they get their weapons for like vampires? Man, they made them. They got their own Whistler setup going on. They're running out of Dillard's. <laughs> <laughs> you better go right back inside. Yeah, Blade just jumps up that hole. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, he had to get his sword. I got my sword. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> well, there's a lot of trust going on in this movie, ain't there? What are they double cross and they're like half bang and they're like. We got him. Who the hell are you people? Well, my name is Hannibal King. This little hellion right here is Abigail. Whistler's daughter. Aww. Oh, is it really? That's good, but sad. I guess they've been estranged, huh? Probably because he made her grow up hunting vampires. <laughs> the vampires killed Whistler's family. They did. I was born later out of wedlock. Oh. oh, when I came of age, I tracked my dad down and I told him I wanted in. Been doing it ever since. Okay, Pop. How do you bankroll this operation? I date a lot of older men. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm joking. <laughs> you met Dex. This is Hedges, Summerfield. She's the one who built that new serum inhaler of yours. That runt you saw earlier, that was Summerfield's daughter, Zoe. We call ourselves the Night Stalkers. Sounds like rejects from a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Where are we gonna... How many of you are there? There's enough. We operate in sleeper cells. Consider us your reinforcements. You amateurs are supposed to be helping me. Well, you've had friends all along. You? Look at you. Your kids. You're not ready to roll with this. <laughs> I mean, look at the way you dressed. But that's supposed to be tactical. What is this? What is that? Fuck you. It's a joke, huh? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? You think this is a fucking sitcom? Okay, first off, that's just rude. Second, we saved your ass back there. <laughs> <laughs> look, Blade, my father meant for us to help you. Like it or not, we are all you got. The hell makes you think you know about vampires? Just for starters, I used to be one. Oh man, he's a recovering addict. He used to be Bookies. one? A familiar Bloody though. Hell, yeah, I think so, yeah. I should have ripped his bleeding heart out when I had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I was wondering, because I saw the blood Blade. splatter. We had him! <laughs> And don't tell me I told you so, Asher. Aww. What's wrong, Half Pint? You need a timeout? Blow me. Half Pint. <laughs> we got caught with our pants down. Pants down? They pretty much ass raped us. Has he been told? About your failure. Oh. Yes. Maybe it's time I joined the game. I'm just used to him messing stuff up when he's around. No, it's so. not a woman that just <laughs> screams when he joins the game, trouble. he might mess himself up. Yeah. You see her, and every warning bell in your brain starts going off. But she still managed to ask for her number. Well, that's all I ever hook up with. But this Betty. She blew them all away in the shitstorm sweepstakes. Her name is Danica Talos. You met her earlier. And unlike typical vampires, her fangs are located in her vagina. Moving on. <laughs> the man on her left is her brother, Asher. And this walking diaper stain is Jarko Grimwood. I picked Danica up in a bar and spent the next five years playing hide-and-go-suck as her little vampire cabana boy. Eventually, Abigail found me. Summerfield managed to treat me with a cure, and now I kill them. And that's basically turning a frown upside down. So you're indebted, huh? We need to huh? pull our resources, Blade. We. <laughs> you don't want to be on a team yeah, with them. <laughs> He's come back. Take a look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He's at LOL Marvel. <laughs> He's real, LOL. Blade. This is a piece of his armor. With it, we were able to extrapolate a basic idea of what this look like check this out dracula is only one of the names he's gone by babylonians worshipped him as dagon and now they call him drake if you believe in the legends he was born in ancient sumeria so basically he's old old nobody really knows the specifics of his origin but we do know this he was the first of his kind the patriarch of hominus nocturna he's kind of your dad he was born perfect on what standard? <laughs> and just like the great white shark, this guy has never had to evolve. There's no happy ending with this guy. He's been there, moving behind the scenes, cutting a bloody path through the ages until suddenly, just like that, he up and disappeared. And then we heard a rumor the vampires were searching for him. Some say he'd been sleeping through the ages. And according to our information, they found him in Iraq about six months ago. And he was pissed. Yeah, he was pissed, remember? Yeah. Just slow walking through the town. That shirt, though. Vampire one. 
<laughs> that's that low, low cut. Maybe that's just this guy's style, because didn't he do that a lot in Prison Break 2? Wore like I think the, he just wore a white t-shirt. No, he wore like the jackets with no shirt on it for some reason. I don't remember. I was always like, where's this guy's shirt? <laughs> I was always super looking at his big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> I talk so much junk about him when we watch Prison Break, y'all. I don't mean it, but still. Look at him. He's about to be mad about like the culture. He's like, this is cultural appropriation. <laughs> in the window, you sell vampire merchandise. Yeah. Look around. Huh, Chocula? You might have a few things. <laughs> Hold on. Ain't that what you always get? We've got Can Dracula lunch boxes. No. Guys, that's only insane because I've never heard of Count Chocula until a couple years ago. But apparently she's been eating it her whole life with her mom every Halloween. And so we have a box in the pantry just so I don't know. And that junk is straight smacking. Yeah. For sure. And our kid likes it too. Yeah. We try to not do very much cereal, but you know. Look around. We might have a few things. We've got Dracula lunch boxes. Did you see those? There's bobbleheads keychains we've got even vampire vibrators <laughs> oh that's probably Was gonna really annoy him something special you needed he's like i've become a hey guy she's talking to you oh i'm about to get eight he's got leather pants on what you want to kiss me pretty boy <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he went in there and got joked up. I mean, they did put his face on the I vibrator. <laughs> That's exactly what we've been trying to figure out. When I was under the fang, there used to be talk about some kind of vampire. Well, that wasn't a vibrator. That was a that was the D but word. I could never figure out <laughs> why they wanted to destroy it. their food source. I mean, it makes no sense. What does it right? rhyme with? They've always had plans. For the <laughs> it seems likely that whatever they're cooking up, Drake's return is part of it. Let's face it, we are fighting a losing battle here. So we kill a few hundred of them a year. Big deal. There are thousands of them out there. We need a new tactic. Like what? Biological weapon <laughs> for you sighted people. Oh, damn. There's a little show and tell. For the last year, I've been working with synthesized DNA in order to create an artificial virus targeted specifically at vampires. We're calling it Daystar. Think about it, Blade. We could wipe them all out in one single move. So what's been holding you back? The bottom line is we need a better strand of DNA to work with. Oh. We need Dracula's blood. Dracula is the progenitor of the vampire race. His DNA is still pure. And if you kill him, they all disappear? It has been diluted by a hundred generations of selective mutation. We get his blood. We can boost Daystar's viral efficacy 100%. All the vampires go bye-bye. So, can we just go right ahead and sign you up for one of our secret Night Stalker Dakota rings? <laughs> oh. Uh, holy shit. That guy? Um, can you pause that for a second? Hottie. This guy's wife? <laughs> <laughs> this guy in real life, his wife found out. That, why are you? Why are you making a noise? Like Nothing, go, go. she found out like who this serial killer was. Oh, the Zodiac killer? No. Who was it? The person in Los Angeles. I forget their name at this moment. The Golden State Killer. So her, his wife figured out who the Golden State Killer was in real time. <clears throat> she did, but she passed away before she found out that she was the reason. Oh, really? Yeah. That's insane. Uh, we have a ass kickery for your viewing pleasure. Electronic pistol. Comes in a variety of tasty calibers. Explosive rounds. Ooh, we got like a spark burst plug. of UV light instead of your standard hollow points. I call them sun dogs. <laughs> Hedges. This little pea shooter. It's the modified version of the Army's objective individual combat weapon. Pick your poison, sun dogs, steaks, heat seeking mini rockets. Basically, whatever gets you hard, this puppy will pump them out. <laughs> of course, it doesn't have the range of a sword, but. Oh, uh, God. Over here, we um, call this. The UV arc. Whoa. Perfect. The two points are connected by a powerful UV laser. This bad boy is half as hot as the sun and can cut through vampires like a knife through butter. That's pretty cool. We're still trying to sort out fact from fiction when it comes to Dracula. Turning into mist? Kind of doubt it. With general shape-shifting? Maybe. Not into a bat or a wolf or anything like that, but another human uh, with practice could be possible because he wouldn't have a, a traditional skeletal structure, something more like a snake's with thousands of uh, tiny bones. And... I have a question about that, Hedges. Have you ever been laid? Many times. With ladies. <laughs> time for a little fresher. Weakest link, vampire chain of command has always been there. Familiar. Since the vampires can't go out in the daylight, they get the humans to do all their dirty work. We bleed the water bees. So the lady that take us right to the V. I got you some new wheels. You took care of it now. Hey, nice. They gonna put out the Yukon. She's making playlists. She likes to listen to MP3s when she hunts <laughs> her own internal soundtrack, you know? Dark core, trip hop. You think she was on LimeWire? Me, I'm yeah. more of a David Hasselhoff fan, you know? Downloading that Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. Look, she has to put on the sunnies too. You think that's really what she's listening to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is why it's called Blade 3 Trinity, because they're the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely either that or it's the third movie. <laughs> Which reminds me, when I said the intro, I called it Blade 3, but it's actually called Blade Trinity, so that's on me. 
Oh. That would still hurt though if I got to pull my damn leg off. Eventually, you know, your head is going to pop off. <laughs> no, no, please. Who's your handler? I don't know my handler. I swear. I swear. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'll take that. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Hello? Hello, this is Dr. Vance. You paged me. It's for you. <laughs> yeah, <right>. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> You know, at some he point, you, uh, you might want to consider sitting down with somebody, you know, have a little share time, kick back, get in touch with your inner child, that sort of thing. He thinks he needs therapy. Also, just a thought, you might want to consider blinking once in a while. I'm sorry, I, uh, I ate a lot of sugar today. <laughs> hey, you just can't walk in here like that! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> what did that guy think he was gonna do? <laughs> he just walked out. He wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry, but you can't see Dr. Vance right now. <gasps> Sit. I would hate to be there that day. She literally talked to him like a dog. Can I help you? Not for Batman. All right, Vance, what the hell do you know? Oh, Jesus. It's him. Abby, it's Drake. <laughs> so, you're the hunter they all fear. I had a feeling about you. Shoot him. Go ahead, Blade. Show me what you're made of. Boom. Ooh. Ow. I feel like Drake's a motherfucker. <laughs> Golly, Drake. Is he wearing leather pants? Yeah, you didn't notice that when he was no. mad about the vampires? I told you, I can only look at his head. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking huge. Dang. The dogs were there just to add chaos. Yeah. <laughs> They were pointless. <laughs> hey, don't mention John Lennon's apartment. <laughs> that was more like Juan Lennon. He just has a baby. He said he runs faster with the ball in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he looks like he's doing. Yeah. Damn. Oh, Damn, I love Blade movies. They're so much fun. They really are. I'm over here smiling like a damn child. <laughs> you better not. Jackson. <laughs> I've been told about you, your weakness for humans. Why'd you kill Vance? It outlived his purpose. He died a good death. Quick, clean. I wouldn't know anything about that. You will. How are you able to survive in sunlight? Haven't you read Stoker's fable? I was the first of the vampires. I am unique. So that's why they brought you back. Of course. They believed through me they could become daywalkers. They wish. Look at them down there, scurrying around like insects. They don't know anything about honor or living by the sword, not like you and I do. Do you think they could ever grasp what it means to be immortal? You're not immortal. I must have heard hundreds of you rodents make the same claim. Each one of them have tasted the end of my sword. Perhaps I will too then, but I think it is more likely the next time we meet. Touch! Oh, he only toe tap. What was that about? Why would you do that? Ooh, like Centennial Holmes catching that ball. Right, he threw him a dime and disappeared, didn't he? Like, <laughs> He's like... That poor baby, like, what the heck? Gucci go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that guy? We're gonna lose, man. We're gonna... Oh, God! Whoa, 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 hold on. What, are you, what, what is that? What are you doing? It's an elastic protein, okay? It's gonna stop the hemorrhaging. Is it gonna hurt? It's gonna sting a little. Really? <laughs> oh! Fuck! What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I had a family once. Wife. Two daughters. Aww. And a drifter came calling one evening, a vampire. He toyed with him first, tried to make me decide which order they die in. Do you think that's her? I've been doing this a long time, since before you were born. Maybe she lied about her. I don't want this life for you, Abby. Oh, no, no, no. 
It's the most dramatic shower I've ever seen in my life. And it's huge. The shower is nice as hell. He decided to become the vampire archer in that moment. It is this. The. Knows her origin shower story. Hey, Blade, got a question for you. Say we're successful, say we wipe out all the vampires. What then, huh? You ever ask yourself that? And somehow I don't picture you teaching karate at the local Y. <laughs> he hates me, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> How many hits has that thing got? <laughs> It's kind of weird seeing them sucking on that thing, ain't it? Why do you do that? Because there's something bad inside of me. This keeps it from getting out. Why can't you just be nice? <laughs> because the world isn't nice. The realism. I found where the vampires are working. Biomedica Enterprises. They've been buying up all sorts of supplies. All right, check it out. Tech palm rays, bone marrow growth supplement, genetic sequencing enzymes. <laughs> you want a party favor? They should cover that up a Lucky little better. Seven. Silver hollow points. Done. I think that guy's ratatouille too. You wanted to see me? We've got trouble. Done a little moonlighting, chief? Shit. What are you doing here? Talk. <laughs> Spill it. You know what we're doing. <laughs> What's inside? I used to pimp slap a lot more back in the day. <laughs> gotta do no. what you gotta do. What's behind door number one? Can't tell you the they kill me. Kill you, motherfucker. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll just enjoy better. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you think I won't kill you? What the heck? <laughs> Lights. God in heaven. Whoa, whoa. Is that like a blood bank? Oh, no. That's scary as mess, honestly. What is this place? It's a blood farming facility. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Vampires decided that hunting humans on a piecemeal basis was inefficient. too inefficient. Why they got a grocery store? Why keep them alive? That's like a damn Costco, ain't it? Under optimal conditions, a donor can generate anywhere from 50 to 100 pints of blood. Productive. Where do you get all these people? They got processing centers in every major city. In any given oh. time, there's what? Three million homeless wandering around America? They just pull them in off the streets. Dude. Nobody cares about them. This We're doing is this sick. country a service, really. Vampire final solution. Are they aware? Why is there a tube going into anything? his nipple? They're in a chemical induced coma. They're brain dead. Ah. Look at this. This is the future you want. Don't you think they have a place for you in their future? We don't have a choice. They're going to win. Can't you see that? He's come back. There's nothing stopping them now. It's me. Go. That's right. You got 20 seconds. I'm surprised you let him live. 20. Damn! He said 20. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down password. What is it? Harvest. <laughs> Put it in. They said we either can work with these vampires or I'm going to end up in the Ziploc bag. So they're just going to let them go and they're going to be like, what the heck and we? They're just going to lay there. Maybe he's just trying to shut off their food supply. That was scary. Gnome King, having decided to conquer the land of Oz. Is that who I thought it was? Please. I mean, Dra Drake. Sorry, guys. Oh, he's a nice friend. He let him shoot. Let's go. Be quiet. No, that's Shape not. Shifting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you son of a. Dude, you're dead. Ooh, that's some weird eyes. What do you mean? Oh, she's blind. She can't see. Guys, Zoe, I want you to go and I want you to hide, okay? Like we talked about. Oh my gosh. Man, he needs to stop wearing Whistler's face. I know, because that's, that's everyone's soft spot. He's smart, Dracula. And that's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, now Blade has to adopt her. Oh, y'all better run in there. <laughs> No, they're moseying. Mm -hmm. Something's not right. A woman's intuition. King! Hmm. 
So Blade has a chance to end the war right here. I hope they do because both the people who do weapons, they're not here anymore. Right. <laughs> How do we know that's Blade though? Zoe! You know what I mean? He can change faces. But Zoe. I think he might have to kill you or something. No, he didn't kill Whistler. Whistler. <laughs> Immortality will come to such as our fit for it. Oh, don't get fooled. He would not write that. Oh, use it. Use it. <laughs> Little palm. Ain't that what it is, little pot rain? Oh, whoa! Nice. I thought, oh, but no. What the? <laughs> We've been porting the vampire gene into other species, experimenting. You made a goddamn <laughs> vampire Pomeranian? Yeah. Y'all weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bamp's well, best that's friend, huh? you ask, because clearly this dog has a bigger than you. And when the fuck did you see my face? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to her. <laughs> Poor kid, you look so destroyed. <laughs> oh yeah, he used to work for her. You're tasting a little bland, lover. Are you getting enough fatty acids in your diet? Have you tried lake trout, mackerel? How about you take a sugar frosted f off the end of my? D and how about everyone here not saying the word? That'd be good for YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about Blade King. What's this weapon he's been planning? I can tell you two things. One, your hairdo is <laughs> ridiculous. She looks like a fish, <laughs> don't she? Two, I ate a lot of garlic and I just farted. Silent but deadly. <laughs> Spit it out, you fruitcake. All right, I'll tell you about the weapon. It's a new flavor crystal formula. Twice the chocolatey goodness, half the calories, plus it helps prevent tooth decay. There. <laughs> He's about to punch him with a palm ring in his hand. You're brave, King. I'll give you that. But underneath all that swagger, I know what you really fear. What would hurt you more than anything else? <clears throat> um. You don't want to go back to being one of us. Don't bite him. Oh, no. Why do you have a longhorn on his belt buckle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bite you. He's from Texas. Again, King. And I'm going to leave you here. While you turn, I'm going to watch you day after day as the thirst keeps building and building. And then when you can't stand it anymore, I'm gonna bring the little girl in here for you to feed on. That was so dark. Did you like that game? Did you enjoy taking her life? No. Now we're getting somewhere, my pet. It's weird when the vampires call them pets. <laughs> so strange. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't let it turn in. It already has. Training sesh. She's got to get the anger out. 240 FPS. I wonder how much weight's on that draw right there. What do we need? A thousand? He's one of ours. My name is Colder. I'll be your driver this evening. I don't trust anybody anymore. I, I think it's always uh, Drake. Summerfield left you a video <laughs> message. Mm -mm. That clown. Mm -mm -mm. If you're watching this, I'm already dead. Zoe's alive. I want you to promise me that you'll take care of her, okay? I've been reading her the Oz books every night. Mm -hmm. We just started reading the Emerald City of Oz. You know, the one with the known king. I think I've managed to cultivate a workable strain of the Daystar virus. As a precaution, I transmitted the genetic sequence to Calder in case our main stock was destroyed. In order for it to achieve maximum lethality, you're going to need to interfuse it with Drake's blood. Now, if it works, every vampire in the immediate vicinity should die almost instantly. There's one other thing. Blade, there's a chance the virus could destroy you too. Yeah, I was wondering. Back. I'm not sure if your immune system will be able to tolerate it. Mm. I'm sorry. We just didn't have enough time to properly test it. So. Shall we take a look at the plague arrow? We had time to fabricate a small amount of Daystar. I was able to outfit it with a compressed gas projectile. So they have to shoot him, basically. It can be shot 
from one of the four barrel rifles or a bow. Anyway, you must be sure that the shot counts. You simply not have enough for a second shot. Which one of y'all is they gonna be? Who's gonna take the shot? The girl who can shoot the arrow. Do you know what? Yeah, but it said it can go in a gun too. Yeah, the gnome oh, king. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm stupid. I was thinking it wasn't enough. Ah, the gnome king. Oh, sweet. Tell me, child, do you want to die? I'm not afraid. I'll go to heaven. There is no heaven, no God, no angel. The only thing in your future is nothingness. But what if you could change that? What if you could remain a child forever? Wouldn't you like that? Do you mm -hmm. accept that gift? My friends are coming to kill you. That little girl's a soldier, ain't she? Mm -hmm. I guess she's related to Whistler. No. Not at all, right? Because them two girls ain't related. Damn, I'm starting to suck at the end of this movie. I gotta get it together. <laughs> Do you know any of those? I don't know. This sounds like a straight vampire song. <laughs> I mean, the music choice is perfect. Yeah. We're gonna wake the night this blood. <laughs> He's like Star Lord. Are you telling? Is she going wireless? Are those wireless? Nah, those weren't. They're the earbuds. Oh, that's, about, there. that's what I was thinking. I was gonna say, how is she gonna be athletic with the wires in her shirt? Because I used to try to do that when I play sports. <laughs> Impossible. It don't work. Some dudes could do it. I never understood it. Why well, used to could do it, but they have to be behind your ear. Huh? They like have to be behind your head. He got that Aemon Targaryen style too. Gonna be sorry Hair. you did that. Why? Nobody's coming for you, King Shit. Oh, sure they are. God. See, one of the things you need to know about us Night Stalkers is that when you join our club, you get all sorts of groovy little door prizes. And one of them is this nifty little tracking node surgically implanted in your body. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> he necked his ass. See, when one of us goes missing, the others, they just dial up the satellite, which is in space. And then presto, instant cavalry. He's just talking junk, right? They don't really have like that. that huh? <laughs> Maybe they do. Okay, King, where is this tracking node of yours? It's in my left ass cheek. Fine. She kind of looks like the lead singer of it's Green Day. Right ass cheek. Yeah, oh, kind of like so. the girl version. Okay, I'm sick. Okay, seriously now, it's in the meat of my butt, just below the Hello Kitty tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, just pull down my tidy whities and see for yourself. Enough! It's not funny anymore. But it will be a few seconds from now. Oh, he's just trying to solve. See that tickle that you're feeling in the back of your throat right now? <gasps> That's atomized colloidal silver. It's being pumped through the building's air conditioning system. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Uh -oh. Which means the fat lady should be singing right about now. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Do you have a cell phone? <laughs> the glass landing. I was expecting a one liner with that. Like, what's up, some kids? Or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, no help here. <laughs> I feel like they're all positioned like perfectly far away, so that way when they all start running to meet them, they're like perfectly falling in line to get their ass whooped. <laughs> but they just do it anyways. They see the person in front of them get their butt whooped, and then they just charge anyways. It makes sense. Yeah. Where's Zoe? Drake's got her. Okay. What's he gonna do about those chains, though? <laughs> she just all laptop and tossed it. She assaulted that man with an ottoman and a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they kill a vampire because it looks like a video game elimination, kind of. Yeah. Like that. But to be real though, that's some nice office spaces. Or whatever the hell they are. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this kick, though. <laughs> No shot. <laughs> that was too clean. Aww. Where's Drizzy though? You okay? <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Watch out! <laughs> yes. That'd be a scary little sword to use though, or whatever the hell it is, because like if you cut yourself with that, you're screwed. I feel like it's a switch blade. How do you put it up? You know. Mm -hmm. Don't be mean to it, even though it's a vampire. <laughs> oh, uh oh. A demi gorgon. <laughs> He's a cute little guy, aren't you? There was yeah, a movie back in the day with that dog and the baby. It was called Man's Best Friend. Guys, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's an old movie. Oh, with that Roddy in it? Yeah, but it was like a giant rock roller that was like a killer or something. I seen it when I was a kid. I ain't thought about that movie. Yet. Oh. That's terrifying, honestly. <laughs> y'all silly. <laughs> That was a weird day for her. <gasps> oh. Just right back where he started. Hey, face, you seen my dog? Have you tried the lobby? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they have some weird energy going on. <laughs> like they need to fight each other, I guess. Or <laughs> something. This. Blade. <laughs> What's he wearing? Ready to die. His battle stuff. I was born ready, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Motherfucker. I like that. The new word for him. <laughs> he likes mother sucker. <laughs> Damn, we got the red sleeve. <laughs> this guy's punching kind of wide. Is that like his weak arm or something? The one with the armor? Right, that seems a little excessive, don't it? <laughs> like he's just rich and has all the toys. <laughs> he's just pulling them out. <laughs> Ooh, tap, tap! I just can't do it with his little low top even <laughs> showing shirt he's got. <laughs> Hey, if somebody did you like that, it'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> That's not fair. That's illegal. Nice. Double kill. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> Running riot. He still has on leather pants, too. Right, but he's dressed a little seductive, ain't he? Well, I'm telling you what, leather pants are not easy. They're easy to rip. At least the ones I had. <laughs> get down. He made it longer than expected, though. Yeah, he did. Low cut ain't working. Mm -hmm. Holding me back. Mm. His tongue slapped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just flew through a painting casually like that. I know he's over here fighting Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> or Marilyn Manson, I mean. Why he still got a chain on though? 
Here we go, here we go. Are you ready to die, motherfucker? <laughs> That's his word. Hey, you put a little twang on it for a second time saying it. Oh, it's Loki. Oh. <laughs> Look, you missed me, Hawkeye. Aim for the ants. Got him. Damn, he don't like that stuff. No. Wouldn't it be kind of a legend to meet him, the first vampire? And then you gotta fight him? Right. What's up? <laughs> it's an honor, sir. <laughs> Good shot, Tomb Raider. Oh, man. They need to pay that guy. That's pretty cool. Why, because he just busted it down that thing? <laughs> yeah, he slid. They must have put some detergent on that thing. Well, of all the vampires die, they're still never going to believe Blade. Do you think this how this franchise is about to end? He's going to go to prison? Or he's going to die from this stuff. Hang in there, kitten. I'll get help. Because she didn't know. Funny, isn't it? All this time, my people were trying to create a new kind of vampire. When one already exists, I don't need to survive. The future of our race rests with you. You fought with honor. I respect that. Allow me a parting gift. But remember this. Sooner or later, the thirst always wins. Thanks, Dad. Those are some harsh last words. There's a little bit of evidence. I don't know, man. That'd be hard to prove in court. They found some embers. <laughs> they look skeletal. Dude, he plays in something. A movie I used to like as a kid or something, but I can't remember what it is. It looks like he would have been like a football coach. No, I don't think that's what it was. Wait. In Drake's final gift, let's just say the FBI got <gasps> their body. Mm-mm just wasn't the one they were banking on. Mm. Because he needed Blade to continue. Blade was still out there somewhere, doing what he did best. He was a weapon. His life was a war, and everybody knows the war never ends. But who's he fighting now? He must have moved on to werewolves. He knows undercover he's still out there when they're ready. That's what we like on this channel, boys. That was a good franchise. That is what we like. All right, guys, that was Blade uh, Trinity, not Blade 3. I messed that up in the intro. <laughs> um, dude, what an awesome franchise, man. Yeah. So that was our first time checking out Blade all the way through for sure. I know so many of you people have probably seen this franchise multiple times at this point, but for a first time watching, babe, what was your instant just reaction to like the whole project? I thought it was just a great time. I I honestly loved it from start to finish. Why did they do such a good job with these movies? I've sat there and wondered so many times, what is it about these movies that make them so good? And I, I just I can't put my finger on. I it. think I know what it is for me. What? I think it's that Blade doesn't do too much. He's like, yeah, he comes up and he just fights and he doesn't like try to like make us feel any type of way about you know, you know, he pretty much lived a tragic life, but he doesn't go off about it. He just comes in here and he's just about his business, up. right? Yeah, he's he's so much about business that it makes it like fun. He didn't have to go through like the whole Thor emotional like, you know, I'm going to get really sad and then grow and then all that. Uh, Blade was just about his business from the beginning, man. Even looking at his own mama and eyes, he was still pretty stone faced. So yeah. <laughs> just a damn good franchise. Yeah. I think uh, Whistler was a really good addition for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, you know, I've said it at nauseum at this point, but it was Sad. like his, it always pulled at Blade's heartstrings, Whistler. So he was always a good person to have in the picture. I do want to say before I forget, I really hope there's more projects that we can see that actor in, but he's always going to be Whistler to me. I know the guy actually just passed away. So rest in peace to him, man. I'm sure that you let, you know, I'm sure he had a great life for sure. 
and hopefully it was extremely impactful which i believe it was so just a damn good franchise i i really i really like this one guys i know rotten tomatoes wants to play it up and pretend that it's like a 27 or something ridiculous like that that's kind of crazy but this movie was actually really good there's movies that are there there's movies that are rated so much higher than this on rotten tomatoes that genuinely can't hold a freaking candle to this so. right um i i think the reason why though rotten tomatoes was doing it because it was like it did have like corny moments, but I liked the corny moments. I know that was weird, but a 2000s movie to me always has essentially some corny, like silly moments. Right. And I actually appreciate them in this franchise. I feel like corny was done better back then. Yeah. Corny doesn't land as well today. No. You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird. It, for it, sure. Corny now is called like dad joke. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe things, more modern things will age in time and we'll look back on them and appreciate them in a different right. way. But. And I'm I'm totally convinced Ryan Reynolds only has one character now because I've seen three different versions of him and he kind of acts the same in all of them. Just like a <laughs> like he's always talking to the audience. <laughs> yeah, he does. It's like what everything you gonna talk to the audience? But I mean, I've only seen him in like superhero things. So so really great addition with Ryan Reynolds, uh, the girl Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this. She was pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really liked her weapon. Yeah. The, uh, I forget what it's called, but it the bow. Just, it was essentially the the bow with the it was the electronic bow in this world man really what it came down to was dracula the og vampire uh number uh, il nom if you will the <laughs> il nom vampire player zero zero one right he was in the coolest piece of architecture ever discovered man like that place was cooler than the great pyramid of giza if i had to say like it just looked so sick they awoke in his ass and he just woke up they awakened lincoln boys. <laughs> yeah link the sink came swinging and essentially, these vampires essentially had a monopoly on the human race. They yeah. were going to take them over. Even the humans just realized this is an impossible war to win. And it really just came down to the teamwork of some good friends to take yep. down the alpha vampire. So the Trinity. I, I, think, I think this franchise just didn't do too much. It didn't take itself too serious. This franchise knew what it was. It knew what his callback moments were with like the sunglasses, the one-liners with Blade, the superhero landings. Uh the short shots of whistler um and it just kept coming back to it man and i just you know it did a really good job i like I how them. i like how the franchise didn't evolve too much yeah. you know like some things just over evolve like mm -hmm. you watch the first one and then by the time you get to the end of it, it does, it's not even recognizable hey, now i don't know that face splitting cgi it did evolve a little bit you know we were to just, be honest, we were this, just throwing chicks across the street in the first one. The only the only thing that really evolved in this franchise was the ability of the characters to straight pimp slap somebody. <laughs> I've never seen so many backhands in my life. <laughs> yeah. Um it was funny to see. There's something so <laughs> I know it's terrible to say, but there's something so funny about a just solid backhand. Like Yeah, and you, you know. wanna know something in the two thousands, I think I realized. In the two thousands, they were more likely to kill someone in a movie. Like you know, just uh, anyone in other. Oh, movies. anyone can get it. Yeah. yeah. And like these ones, people come back constantly. Like I know Whistler came back a few times in this, but you know what I'm saying? Like a, a nobody they'll kill off. Like, well, maybe the movie industry screwed themselves one too many times killing off characters. <laughs> and yeah. like, you know what? Damn, we could really benefit from not of killing off that character. So maybe it's just something they've learned, like a money making thing. Yeah. Maybe they're like. Hey, if we take off in the first one, we can't kill people now. <laughs> right. I had a lot of fun with this, man. I learned a lot about the vampire underworlds. And I kind of want more vampires. I'm, I'm having fun with it. I, You know, I'm, I'm having fun with vampires, but I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm actually really bummed on the inside because I really did like this franchise more than you guys know. I felt like it was easy to commentate over yeah. for some reason. And I just had a lot of fun with it. And I was really looking forward to this movie. And now we're done with it. So I guess we're moving on it's to sad. worse vampire things. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sucks. Sad. Yeah. But we did get a lot of recommendations for other vampire things. We definitely will check them out. But we already have something we're checking out next. So we can't do that yet. It's Twilight. Just so y'all know. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> we gotta he's check lying. Out. He's lying. We need lying. to go see uh, Edward Patton or whatever his name Edward is. Edward Patton. <laughs> Ain't that his name in the movie? Edward, Edward Pattinson. Pattinson. Edward Pattinson. Uh, no. His name's Robert Pattinson or something. But his name's Edward Cullen. You call him Edward, Edward Culinary. <laughs> Anyways, man, I don't know what his damn name is. But after we watch the movies soon, I'll, you know, I'll be a big Edward Pattinson fan. <laughs> and uh, guys, I just had a damn good time. Thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely like the video, man. Mainly because it just like helps. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up on Patreon because we do post the uncut reactions over there. And I'm sure our channel members and stuff are so tired of hearing me say that at this point because I, I plugged the Patreon. But it's mainly just because a lot of people just don't even know what Patreon is. So if you want to see more 
content if you want to see the full cut un or the full uncut reactions and just see what it's like when we because you know our whole intro is different over there we just hang out a little bit more so it's a different vibe yeah for sure go check that out and all the marvel shows that you don't see on youtube are all over there absolutely and thank you so much to our channel members so one thing i do want to say to you guys this is just completely off the cuff you know this has nothing to do with anything but i will say when we get a movie ready to go we list it for our members our youtube members and this isn't me trying to get you guys to join our youtube members at all like at all but i'm just letting you guys know the reason we ever put things for members is because a lot of the times when we post them we we usually give them about 12 hours or so to let copyright checks run because the worst thing that can happen is to drop a movie and 10 minutes after you drop it it gets a copyright check yeah because it pretty much ruins the whole movie yeah uh, the algorithm for it and everything right and so we also have to go through a lot of ad suitability checks so they'll say um you know really bad cuss words or something like that if it's kind of if it's questionable it'll go through an ad suitability check we have to have someone manually review it but while i was waiting for that process which sometimes can take like two days we go ahead and throw it up there for members so yep. sometimes if we put it up for members and then like like alex what's up alex you always comment on the videos and we appreciate sure. that so much right but the reason they always disappear and, and alex knows you know you know but we take them down if for some reason there's a copyright issue or ad suitability didn't pass, like if we leave the F word in the movie too many, I, I can leave it in there 12 times and it's fine. But that 13th time they'll just decide this is too much. No, remember I, it's really I used the C word. I accidentally left the C word, but only the T part of the C word. And it still got me. Yeah. I said, you dirty little. C <laughs> it's going to get like, you for that. Guitar. No, it's and, about to get you for that. But anyways, weird. man, that's why we throw them up there for members. Uh, we we used to get comments a lot like, "You guys are greedy. You're trying to do this and you're trying to get members." And because a lot of people would wait on like the Game of Thrones videos yeah. to drop, but every single one of those had to go through an ad suitability. So we'd get done editing it, throw it on YouTube, make sure the copyrights are good. But while it's just sitting there, we would release it for members. So we don't do it to try to get you guys to like come join us for members or nothing like but that. But if you want to watch stuff early, it's there. <laughs> if you guys want to help us, man, objectively, like the best thing you can do for us for real is just like the video. I mean, that's really all it is. So, uh, but it's there for sure. If you guys want to get the early access and sometimes we don't even drop things early access. Like sometimes we put it up there as greenlit and it's just ready to go. And then we just release it. So. Right. But if it says a lot of F words, you're probably going to see it on the, on the early <laughs> list. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't think blade gets ad suitability checks. Does I don't it? know. I don't know, man. We haven't dropped this one yet, so we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you on the next one.